I've got a super exciting video for you today. It's a collaboration. There's two sewing patterns to discuss, two gorgeous fabrics to show you, and a discount code for an amazing fabric shop. So stay tuned to find out all about it. Hi everyone, my name's Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tine and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here, it's really lovely to have you. I'm here to talk about a really exciting collaboration that I've got going on this month. Before I get into all of the details of this really exciting video, I thought I'd tell you what I'm wearing. If you are an avid watcher of my channel, you'll recognise this top. I've been working on this for about two months now and I finished it today. It's the Anna Allen Anthea blouse, the ever popular Anthea blouse, which has been everywhere. I cut this out, I think, at the start of December and I finally got it finished today. I just had the buttons and the buttonholes to do and that's what I did and I'm a little bit in love. I absolutely adore this pattern. I actually just sent a message to Gemma and Liz. So Gemma is the daily thread over on Instagram. Liz is the baker that sews on Instagram and YouTube. And we had a little WhatsApp group about this blouse pattern because they had both made it and I wanted to ask them about sizing and things like that right at the start. And what's amusing to me is when I first set up the WhatsApp group, I said to them, do you think I could finish this in one evening? <laughs> It's taken me two months to sew it, but never mind. That's just how it is, making something and you immediately want to make another one, another version. So yeah, this fabric is a cotton poplin. It's from Oya Textiles. I chose this from their website. They sent it to me for free in exchange for just sharing what I've made basically. So this is it. They have got a 10% discount code for their website, which I'll leave down below. The code is Tamlin10 and you could get yourself some of this lovely fabric or something else. That's not the discount code I was referring to, by the way, there is another one to come in this video. Let's get into it. So a few weeks ago, I put a little shout out on my Instagram stories to say that I would like to maybe do some collaborations on YouTube with fellow sewing vloggers or fabric companies, that sort of thing. Just, you know, some interesting new content to bring you. And the lovely Jess, who is So What If I Sew, sent me a message and said she would love to collaborate again, which I was delighted about because I really enjoyed our collaboration that we did last year. We both used the same fabric from the rag shop and sewed up our own garments using that. I will link to those videos down below so you can go and check them out if you haven't already. So yeah, I was really excited when Jess said she would love to collaborate again. And initially we didn't really have a firm idea of what we wanted to do, but then an idea just sparked in my mind. I knew that Jess wanted to sew or had plans to sew a slip dress. And I also had plans to sew a slip dress different slip dresses. So I suggested to Jess, how about we both sew both of the slip dresses and do like our own style, our own versions of them, see how they fit our bodies because we do have different body shapes and we have maybe different fitting issues and that sort of thing. And I just thought it'd be really fun and Jess loved the idea and was 100% up for it. So that is what we are doing. We are both going to sew two different slip dresses by two different pattern companies in our own fabrics that we've already got in our stash. And then at the end of the month, we're going to reveal our slip dresses. We're going to talk through what we found, which one we prefer, which one suits us better, that sort of thing. So yeah, it's a really exciting video. I'm really looking forward to seeing how our versions of these dresses turn out. So the slip dress that I'd planned on making anyway was the Saltwater Slip by Friday Pattern Company. So this is quite a simple slip dress. It's got adjustable straps and it comes in two different lengths. So you can make it as more of a short like mini slip dress or you can make it T length with slits up the side. It has optional side ties that you can put in if you want to add some waist definition. And it's also really good for layering. And I think that that's what I might plan to do quite a lot is to layer it over just a t-shirt or even like a roll neck jumper or something like that. When I say a roll neck jumper, I mean like a close fitting polo neck, something like the Tilly and the Buttons Freya top, something like that. It comes in sizes extra small up to 7X and it also has multiple cup options, which is great. It's aimed at confident beginners and it's suitable for light to medium weight woven fabric. So you want something with a bit of drape to it, but not too lightweight and 
not too much body, not too much structure. So the version that I want to make is the T-length version with the slits up the side. The size that I'm going to be making is a size large at the bust and waist and then I've graded out to an extra large at the hips just to give me a little bit of extra room in that area. I don't want it to be too big but looking at the finished garment measurements that did fit my size best and my preferred amount of ease. The fabric that I'm going to be using is from Rainbow Fabrics. It's an Eco Vero poly viscose and I'll show you it now. I have already cut out my dress but I've got the pieces here so I can show you my fabric. Sorry it's got the tissue attached to it. So this is the fabric that I'm going to be using. I love the shade of green. Green is one of my colours and then it's got this sort of black polka dot all over and these black flowers. So I really like that. It's going to have a nice amount of drape to it. It's lightweight enough. And with it being a poly viscose blend, it will not crease, so that's great. Hopefully it'll still press nicely when I'm sewing it. Fingers crossed. I know that polyester blends and polyester fabrics don't tend to press that well, but we'll see. Hopefully it'll all be fine. So in terms of fabric requirements, the pattern for my size says that you need 2.38 metres. So I had three metres of that fabric and once I'd cut out the dress, I had loads of fabric left. So I've actually managed to cut out the Friday Pattern Company patina blouse as well. So out of three metres, I've got a slip dress and a patina blouse, which is amazing. So I reckon I could probably have got away with two meters maximum for this dress, but I already had the three meters in my stash anyway. Just in terms of the fabric, so the fabrics that I've chosen for both of my slip dresses happen to both be from Rainbow Fabrics. And I think Jess has also chosen fabric from there too. So I sent Yusuf from Rainbow Fabrics a little message to say, you know, we're planning on doing this video. We wondered if you might like to be involved in any way. And he was 100% up for it, loved the idea. So what they've offered is a 20% off discount code across their website for the whole of February for you, our viewers. And then they've also offered some prizes to give away at the end. So when we reveal our dresses, we'll announce a little giveaway as well, which is awesome. So there'll be some vouchers to be won for their shop. But the discount code that you need is slip collab in capital letters, and that will get you 20% off anything from their website across the month of February, which is amazing. Their prices are already incredible, really good value. I think the fabric I'm using here was 4 dollars a metre, maybe even less. So yeah, great value anyway. And then you get an extra 20% off, which is just awesome. <laughs> I think I also forgot to say when I talked about the size that I'm going to be making, I'm making the B slash C cup version. So that is my Friday Pattern Company slip dress plan. I'm very excited. I think that one is definitely my style. It's gonna fit well into my wardrobe. I love wearing trainers a lot, nearly all of the time. So I think it'll really suit, you know, a black t-shirt underneath and a pair of trainers. I think that'll be a great combination. So onto the slip dress that was Jess's original plan. So this is the Sicily slip dress by Sewing Patterns by Mazin. And this is another one that I've seen everywhere over the last few months on Instagram and YouTube. It's really captured the imagination of a lot of people in the sewing community. It's been a really popular pattern. I think because it, you know it's very on trend and the style is just beautiful. So this is more of a romantic type slip dress. It's more dressy and it's cut on the bias, which is the main difference. It comes in two different variations. So view A has thin like skinny straps, it's got quite a low cowl neckline and it is a midi length. And then version B has wider straps, a higher um, cowl neckline and it finishes just above the knee. And this calls for fabrics that are lightweight with a beautiful drape. So the version that I want to make is version A with the skinny straps and the lower cowl neckline. The only reservation I have about this slip dress and the reason I haven't actually made it yet when it's been so popular and you know everyone's been loving it, I'm quite hesitant about how it will suit my body because I don't have a very big bust and I'm not sure that it's going to suit that. I feel like it probably suits people with a bigger bust 
but we're just going to wait and see. That's why I'm doing this collaboration. That's one of the reasons I wanted to step out of my comfort zone and give it a try and see if it would suit me with, you know, a smaller bust, see if I can pull it off. So in the pattern instructions, it tells you that view A is more suited for beginner sewers. View B is a bit more complex because it's gone all in one facing. Although I'm not a beginner sewer, I am sewing version A anyway, because that's the style that I want to wear. So the size range on this pattern goes from a size A up to a size J. A size A is a 33 inch bust and a size J is a 54 inch bust. And it's drafted for a B cup. It doesn't come with different cup options, this pattern. So my measurements put me in a size C for the bust and then a size D for the waist and hips. So I think I'm going to make a size D or I might even grade. Actually, I think I'll probably just grade. I'll grade from a C at the bust to a D at the waist and hips. The finished garment measurements didn't really tell you an awful lot and the instructions do say don't worry about them because with it being a bias cut dress, the fabric will sort of mould to your body and it'll move and change. So the finished garment measurements aren't really what you want to be looking at to choose your size. You want to look at the, just your standard body measurements. And for the size that I'm making, it requires 190 centimetres of fabric. I have three metres of fabric, so I'm hoping I'll be able to get something else out of what I've got left over. So again, the fabric I'm using is from Rainbow Fabrics and it's this incredible Zara viscose satin fabric. I didn't buy this with this pattern in mind. I bought this with no pattern in mind, but I just loved it so much. And I, as I say, I got three meters of it, but it's got beautiful drape and it's exactly the sort of fabric that will be beautiful in this dress. And I'm very excited. It has been pre-washed, hence all of the creases in it. I will iron this before I start sewing with it. Don't worry. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very excited about the slip dress in that fabric. So I think that's everything I had to talk to you about today in terms of our little collaboration. So now both of us are going to go away and we're going to make our own slip dresses, both of the patterns, as I said, in our own fabrics. And then we're going to reveal our dresses at the end of the month. Jess is also filming an introduction and plans video as well. So I'll link to that down below and, or you can just head over to her channel and check that out and see what fabrics she's planning on using. I haven't seen them yet, so I'm really excited to see her plans. And I know she's going to look absolutely beautiful in both of those slip dresses. As I say, I kind of predict in my mind that the Friday Pattern Company Saltwater is going to fit and suit me better in terms of my body shape, but I might be taken by surprise. I might absolutely fall head over heels in love with the Sicily. We shall just see. So have you made either of those dresses? I'd really love to hear from you down below. Which one do you think I'm going to suit better or which fabric do you prefer? And if you have made any of those dresses, please do leave me some tips or advice down below. I'd love to hear from you. Remember that you can get 20% off at Rainbow Fabrics for the entire month of February using the code SLIPCOLLAB and that is all. Thank you so much for watching today. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you're as excited about this collaboration as we are. And we'll see you at the end of February for our big reveal. Thank you for watching and I hope you're all very well. I'll see you again next time. <laughs> Happy sewing. Bye. And this is the Sicily slip. <laughs> that is a mouthful. I absolutely love it and I already made one. No, take that out, Sam.